Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from Electronics Eternity. Uh, this time around we'll be looking at uh, LCD display to draw rectangle, circles and uh, lines. Okay, so uh, as some of you may uh, already notice for, for those of you that has been keeping up with, with my videos, uh, you would notice that this is the third video for LCD display. Um, I'm covering LCD display in detail and therefore I have uh, several videos related to LCD display so for those of you who hasn't checked out the first two videos I would suggest you to do so uh, just to gain a proper understanding uh, about my tutorial okay so uh, without further delaying let's get to it okay uh, what I have over here is just my usual code on the left hand side and on the right hand side I have my examples uh, not to worry all the codes and examples will be provided and, and made available in my blog as usual so let's go to the first part uh, for the first shape that we're going to draw today uh, which is simply a line right so a line is a basic construct for a lot of shapes like rectangle square triangle or just about whatever you're trying to draw and, and therefore uh, I just thought it would be good to start with line uh, as, as you know just to set the learning right okay so uh, as you can see this is the void to draw line uh, there, there is two if statement here is one is if x2 is greater than x1 uh, another one is the opposite of it so uh, just in case sometimes the coordinates are mixed up right so you can give x1 y1 first and then x2 y2 and then followed by the colors however there are some times where you know we we can put x2 over here and y2 over here uh, and x1 over here and y1 over here just for that scenario i i have these two uh if and else statements all right so inside of it what do we have is just a, a simple mathematic straight line formula okay so the straight line formula will give us the gradient and based on that gradient we will decide the next values uh, in in a straight line until x2 or y2 is reached okay so uh, i don't wish to you know dwell much into mathematics over here because this is uh, i think it's the simplest of equation when it comes to identifying gradient of a straight line and then uh, plotting the values of x and y coordinates in a straight line so just if, if you need to just spend some time on, on understanding this you can probably create a table of x and y axis uh, on, on top of gradient and uh, you will just easily get the values from from one coordinate to another and how a line is constructed in between those two coordinates okay so this is the void that you need to have if you are going to draw a line and uh, uh, let me show you how it works okay so this is <clears throat> this is a very simple example it will give you okay let's start with something really basic right so I'm gonna put it over here and then I'm going to just upload the code notice the change in my LCD display over here so you can see a straight line is constructed so I'm going to draw another one line over here and uh, this is how it would look so I would have two diagonal lines okay so you can even try changing the colors for example let's try setting white color okay so that's how it would appear two white diagonal lines right this uh, nothing much to be further experimented on this or to be shown in the LCD display you can just play around as much as you want uh, to draw whatever lines that you need okay so next I'm not gonna delay and I'm gonna just jump to the next shape that we're going to draw so the next shape is to draw a hollow rectangle so this again uh, it's it's pretty straightforward it's just drawing four lines to construct a rectangle right so as, as an input what I need is x1 and y1 coordinate as the starting points and then 
how wide it is and how tall it is and finally the color right so each of these portions will draw uh, you know lines for example draw left line I think this should be right so draw right line and then you draw top line draw bottom line so that's all about it it's nothing too complicated it's all about deducing the next values and then just drawing a rectangle as, as simple as that okay so uh, let me demonstrate that to draw a rectangle so I have some basic rectangle over here so I'm going to just take that put it in my code and let's upload that so let's see how my basic rectangle looks so I, I have a basic rectangle over there just in case if you couldn't see let me change the colors uh, it's a bit blurry okay so uh, I hope you can see white color better on top of you know black screen so that that is a basic example of drawing a straightforward rectangle so let's try something else this is just to show you you know I tried some some of this and it turns out to produce a nice looking graphic so I just thought of sharing with you guys so if you could see uh, I have a series of rectangles or squares I, sh I should say because all the sides have same length constructed on top of each other forming a brick like structure so let me change the color again I think with red is not that visible so I'm uploading the whole code again let's hope that okay it's it's much clearer in white because the background is black all right so looks pretty cool so I'm just sharing that for you guys to experiment so and and finally the last example for rectangles so upload that again let me change the color just you know, not to waste time let's see how it looks like see I have a nice you know square that that grows uh, in in uh, in its length right so to to the highest uh, sorry to, to at as high as it can go until it reach the frames border okay so just sharing this for you guys to try out see if you could get the same output right so uh, next we, we have done hollow rectangles so now let's go to fill rectangle so fill rectangle is pretty straightforward we're just drawing a rectangle and uh, for for all that area that we're covering we're just filling it with colors right so as, as you can notice fill rectangle has a has a much simpler command in, in terms of line the reason why is with line you, you need to specify the coordinates of the top bottom left right sides without filling in the inside right so which is why the address specification is is unique right for for each of this left right top bottom lines and, and therefore it increases the white length in total however that's not the case for fill rectangle because you can just specify the area that you're going to cover in between uh, you know in between those, those four sides and simply fill in all the pixels with the colors that you want okay so do some you know do some study trying to explore into this and, and you'll get the idea okay so uh, let's draw our let's draw this one first just to show you how it looks like so I'm drawing so this can even work as a fill screen program right I don't know why people have specific fill screen because you can just use your rectangle function just to fill in the space that you need right so I want to just add these two lines and to show what it happens right so notice I'm using select color over here so just to 
you know change things a bit just to give you guys an idea that you can even use the code in this manner okay so let's upload that and red goes in first and then followed by green and then blue all right so rgb color orientation just a simple example in that nothing much nothing really complex or good looking i would say okay so that's it for full rectangles not much to speak about over here uh let's go on to the next part so the next part is to draw a hollow circle so hollow circle i'm just using a simple radius formula over here and and based on these formulas i will deduce the coordinates of the circles circumference i hope i'm not using too much of a technical terms and confusing everyone okay but it's just mathematics i i choose not to uh, you know dwell too much in it so just look at this uh, plot some series of values in a table if you need to in order to understand how this e mathematical equation functions and uh, then you'll get you'll get the idea okay it's all about deducing what's the next coordinate when it comes to drawing the shapes right so once you can come up with an equation that can uh, deduce or derive the next coordinate and and you can just easily slot in those values into your draw pixel function that's it okay so let's draw hollow circles so let's start with basic example so this is just drawing a circle right a, a plain uh, white hollow circle so let's try the next example which i hope would look nicer than this one so i have a fill screen coming in and i'm drawing a circle underneath sorry inside a circle right a circle inside a circle is as much as circles i can draw all right so i'll put it over here so that's it okay just try this example just to experiment you know would be a cool thing to try okay so that is for white hollow circle finally you know we have come to the last shape which is our filled circle so this filled circle is pretty simple we're just using the hollow circle again however we are incrementing towards the radius value so we start from zero and then we go all the way up until we reach the radius value okay so let's try out some examples over here so example one would look like this so it's just a plain simple hollow circle right it's drawing a circle in yellow color right rgb red plus green is yellow okay so nothing really complex about that let's try out our second example which is three circles i think it's all inside each other so let's see how it turns out so i have okay i have a blue circle which is growing slowly so because the, the reason why it is growing a bit slowly is because we're covering a lot of pixels over here so writing values into that pixel kind of takes time in the microcontroller unit and also in the lcd processor or maybe it's just that i have a dumb code and, and that's why it is taking a bit of time either way it works for me and therefore i'm just happy with it so inside of it i have a red circle okay so this is going to be a, something that looks like a captain america shield so i think inside of it finally it will be a white circle so yeah there we go we, we have a captain america shield so at this point this is the best graphic i could come up for circles all right so i guess we have come to the end of tutorial uh that would be all so i hope you learned uh, something new i hope you find this tutorial useful i hope you can just copy and paste these white functions and include it in your program whenever you need to depending on what shapes that you're trying to draw all right so hope you enjoyed the video thank you uh, good luck trying don't forget to like and subscribe until then